Oh, hello and welcome to this year's highly anticipated video. Finally, I have some new material for my awesome and uh, kind of uh, patient subscribers. So, 2020. After my plans, as many plans, got destroyed repeatedly, I left for a late autumn ride to Italy. First, I decided to not get hit by a maniac tractor. Then I said no to partying in the woods. Switzerland felt very empty. Not even James Bond's spirit could attract people to his Goldfinger gas station. The cheese fondue was fantastic though. With bad weather on the horizon, I spurred my 25 horses to get me up the mountains. Italy, on the other side, welcomed us with big rain but open arms. Our small hotel offered exquisite food and hospitality. Gosh, they were happy to host actual strangers, incredible! The next morning, we encountered the only bad weather day of the trip. Mud and rain made riding through the flatlands much more fun though. Fair enough, I'd say. Before getting back to the mountains, we got lost in a forest and smashed through some potholes. Then, after a nice warm-up hill climb, I was so stunned by my surroundings, so I had to observe the local wildlife very carefully. <laughs> Good morning! Getting higher and higher. What a damn beautiful view. Riding was fun until for the second time a bag of doom tried to stop me by force. My rock straps repeatedly got loose. Getting further up the mountain, we really needed to settle our argument about which bike is better. We decided to go for a straight line drag race. Obviously, 
the almighty power machine won. <laughs> yeah, hello. The autumn colors, powder and mountaintops, and the fact that absolutely no other people were around made riding very special and impressive. The occasional banks of snow gave us some challenges. But it was a happy day. I found a snowball and threw a grasshopper. On the upside, it was easy to find ways to cool off the engine oil of the high performance. Riding in a skiing region was fun and loony, and it got weirder the more snow we encountered.
here, you can see me apologizing for being kind of silly. And here you can see the Mastered Ice Princess class. Work done properly, I'd say. Since we are men of culture, we had a vivid discussion about rock formations too. Then, I promised the guy testing his clutch earlier that the road will get easier in that direction. Classic for my trips is that at some point I'm riding alone. But don't worry, I made a new friend immediately. The thing is, I liked riding so much that I wasn't in a rush to get home. And since I had some more days off, I continued a bit further south by myself. Being alone in this vast area was amazing and after crossing some more snowy paths I actually ran into another dual sport rider. The funny guy with the awesome bike told me that he escaped the daily fog in the valley for getting some evening smokes and didn't want to believe me when I told him about having blue sky and perfect weather for 8 days straight. Lucky lucky times! After a long day riding in fog and low temperature, I made it to Lago di Como and somehow went berserk of my isolation and the sheer beauty I encountered these days. Coming home felt cold, because it was cold. And while being stuck behind a car from Berlin, I realized again how much I love freedom, peace and openness and that I miss it sadly in times like these. Thank you for watching, stay safe and bye bye.